So it's like that.
too late and sudden. How do you do that? Here now is Miss Rosada of the Refuge Way.
Shoot out here.
where he could take it out of you. I was trying to see how long I could just like jam for, but then uh, you get tired. Plus, uh, yeah, uh, I need some food or something. <laughs>
You know, honestly, um, the, like, there's a ton of, uh, like, I would, I would honestly, like, check out an app, um, learnpiano.com, I think is one that I use, like, we used it in school, like, they teach you that at college, I think it's Learn Piano, I can look it up, um, but, uh, I, I would also look at, like, so the thing is, it's like, you could get, like, those keyboards where they light up the keys, and, like, that's cool and all, but, like, you, you, uh, you want to learn the, like, there's a few things you want to learn, like, the same thing with, like, boxing, like, you just gotta, like, learn how to keep your hands up, elbows in tight, like, get your defense straight, like, the basics, and then you can kind of, like, take things off from there. So, like, the basics is, like, how to sit at the piano, how to hold your wrist such that you're not going to, like, develop prolonged wrist injuries. You know, so really it turns into, like, longevity and that kind of stuff. So there's, like, certain ways you want to hold your hands. Like, it's kind of like you're imagining you're holding, like, a softball or a baseball or whatever. And, you, you, you know, so you kind of want to have that shape. And there's different ways to play. There's, you know... But anyways, there's like just kind of some basics of like positioning that you want to learn. And outside of that, I would just like check out some like YouTube uh, videos. Um, I, I'm sure if you just look up like, you know, how to learn piano, like there's, there'll be some like, just start with like the most basic, like, uh, you know, Mary had a little lambs kind of stuff and then try and play with both hands and stuff. Um, <clears throat> One thing my teacher, or I remember someone saying was like, you know, anyways, yeah, uh, so yeah, that'd be my, my thought is, uh, you know, maybe like pay a teacher for like one visit or something like one lesson or, you know, you know, just basically like learn the basics of like posture and positioning at the piano. Uh, I guess that doesn't really matter as much. That's 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 kind of secondary. So yeah, just get a cheap keyboard. You can even go to Costco. They sell really good Casios. I would just get like a cheap keyboard. They're they're great for like you get a hundred dollar one. That's amazing. Um, does everything you want, and, uh, and and download an app. That would that would be my my thought. Just have fun with it. You know, jam out. Play around, kind of, kind of do what I was doing earlier, like just kind of slide around until you find the right notes, you know. Let's see. Uh, and for months following the book, it was going well. I really been in dropping it. Just can't help but impress me when I see someone playing it. Should just feel like a superpower. I play with both hands, one hand and one really, but I need both to be able to play different volumes yeah I mean that that in itself is like years like that 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 is really tough just being able to do both hands like I used to like just have brain freeze at the piano every time I was like yeah you know so it's it's tough yeah I, I, I used to do that with my uh, piano teacher
two guitars off of each other. And I think I've already concluded that this one is much uh, louder than the other one. Um, but that's the magic of pickups, like almost like no, especially hand on pickups, no two pickups sound exactly the same. So, uh, so, so I love, like, I'll, I nerd out, I have to stay out of guitar stores because I nerd out on that stuff. Um, I just love, like, the feel and the, the sound and, uh, you know, it's like two guitar, like, uh, and you could have, uh, ten guitars, uh, of the exact same model and they're all going to be just, they're going to, you know, completely different, really. Um, but, like, it, it, they may look the same, but, like, if you really start like messing around with it, you'll notice that like each one, it's like, it sounds all like heebie jeebie or whatever. It's the same thing with pianos, it's the same thing with any instrument. Really. Um, but it's like when you, when you really start to know what you like, you know, I don't know, like what, I don't know if like what works for you is the right term, but yeah, cause it's like, there's a lot of guitars that are great guitars. Like, I just don't really mess with them because it's like, it's not what I play. And then, uh, in order to, like, if I were to go down that rabbit hole of, like, trying to try all that stuff, you'd just be spending so much money. It's like sports cars, you, you know, you're just like, I don't want to drive that one because that one's pretty and fast and has a nice interior. Uh... Oh yeah, sorry, I'll, I'll be mindful of that when I'm playing as well. Because the amp is right in front of the mic. Plus, this guitar is much louder than the other one, I think. Well, I don't think I know. treat piano like um you know it's something is just like yeah look, go for this look for longevity go for the long run um if you if you looked around the room right now I, i'm not gonna mess with my camera because it's my computer i have uh i guess at the moment i have four guitars right here one bass and three guitars um <clears throat> And so it's like, I always have like instruments within reach because if I don't have it within reach, I'm not going to practice it. So you kind of have to just know what works for you. Every day is, is definitely like important. If you really like, you can't, uh, you, you really want to practice every day, even if it's just like five minutes, like every day is definitely important. Two hours a day is great, but like you said, that's intense and you're gonna, you like, you know, you might maybe burn out. So, um, half hour a day is like dope. If you can do half hour every day, you're set. But make sure it's like, you know, focus. Uh, well, so the thing is, it's like, do like, shoot for, start with like real simple. Start for like 15 minutes of like, it, focused practice. Like you're like progressing through a book, you're like, you're doing something like diligent and then like set some time for like play where you're gonna like jam out to like put on like some songs you like or whatever and like try and like, you know, jam out to it. It doesn't matter if you hit wrong notes, like kind of like, oh, this is what wrong notes feel like. This is what right notes feel like or, you know, because there's a whole array of, anyways, that's a whole, cause then you get into jazz where it's like, you know, you're doing notes that aren't, wrong but they're right um but uh but yeah yeah so i would just say have fun with it is the most important thing you know don't, don't make it like a like make make like the like the, the the bit of like diligent practice make that like a you know a chore but make it a, a smaller chunk that you can like really commit to long term you know and do it first thing in a day it's like you know, treat it like brushing your teeth you know what I mean? Um, like I have a weird thing. It's 
difference. Like even if, even if I'm going through phases where I'm like not practicing as well, which happens, uh, you know, quite a bit. I just kind of like read my. I, I constantly constantly go through cycles of like uh, really excessive practice and then kind of like taking little breaks. And it's like every time you come back, it's always kind of feels a little new and you're kind of doing different stuff on it. So you're always discovering stuff. So that's why it's fun too. Is that it really is endless. Like it seems like just an instrument, but it really is like. Like tonight, I've been playing the most basic, basic, like anyone who, who knows guitar is going to be like, fucking nice pentatonics, loser. You know what I mean? Um, but, uh, but that's the whole point of it too, is like, like that, that's why I was kind of just rock, jamming out is that it's like a, it's almost like a meditation of like, how long can you just like rock out on the simple blues? But that's getting into blues and that's guitar and that kind of stuff. But they have blues with any instrument too, so. But uh, yeah, going back to it, just have fun. I would, uh, most importantly, I would, I would um, you know, do, the book is great. Uh, definitely do the book, but like, you know, have fun and, uh, you know, try and make sounds you like, you know. That's what, I mean, my, my teacher used to, it was very basic, it was like, you, you practice, like, the piano is like, um, you, you work on your, your scales, you work on your arpeggios, you work on your chords, you know, you work on your repertoire, um, you know, and then so, it's, uh, so you work on the songs you're, you're trying to learn, uh, and, uh, you, know, you go about it in a very kind of, like, focused, diligent manner, um, it's just kind of like, you know, it's, just, it's very, it's all very simple. It's just doing it every day. You know, it's like anything. Yeah, yeah, like I have a, um, my, my blue guitar over here is, is tuned to 432 hertz. So it's like a different kind of tuning and it kind of just like makes me feel all like Find some music that's very calming for you too. Like I like the. Uh, um, there we So it's yeah with your practice like there's a lot of different things to kind of cover so it's like over the course of a week you could even kind of like focus on maybe one on one day focus on one thing on another day it's almost like gym gym uh, regimen kind of thing so and it depends on what your goals are if you want to <clears throat> learning how to read music is very important you know uh, so so learning how to read and being able to like open up that is is vitally important so if you're willing to put in the time any time that you're willing to put into reading is is great you know so like i said i i say keep it simple shoot for like five minutes 
you know, do it multiple times a day. I'm into like bite-sized chunks uh, spread out over the course of the day. So it's not like, uh, so, so it's like the, the music becomes more of just like, you kind of like, just kind of, I don't know. It, it's, it's not as much of just as like, ah, you know, it, it becomes, um, like you're, you, you can't wait. Anyways. Um, so, so I, I like, like, like the thought of just like only playing once a day is like, ugh, you know, but anyways, having said that, like, like I go through periods where I, I don't even play that much, but even then, like I'll always go over and like grab the guitar and, you know, every day kind of thing. So it's like, you kind of want to, you want to keep the connection alive. Like there's a weird mojo to it. Like when you're practicing, when you practice every day, when you practice every day for like, so there's levels to it. Like I would say start simple, but like legitimately, like there's been periods where I practiced so much, I developed all kinds of like hand issues because uh, I just was not putting down the bass or the guitar and stuff. Um, and uh, when and you just it it's different when you're when you're practicing like five plus hours every single day, uh, you know minimum. Like you, you just, you play different. It feels different. Your relationship to the instrument is different. So it's like, you have to earn that to, to be able to like, you know, get there. You, you know, and then that takes years to, to even get there too. So it's like, it's just, it's a whole journey. And realize that it's like, like I said, I'm still like, um, like I never really had teachers, even though my dad's a, a well, I guess I had teachers all the time. I went to school for, for music, but for like guitar specifically, like my dad's a guitar guitarist, but uh, you know, it's just like, I just picked it up so I a lot of my stuff. You know, someone who's like had guitar lessons and then like, uh, you know. So it's just, there, there's, there's like, I, I've always just played, it's more like a therapy kind of thing. So, um, just, just play, play what you love, you know? It's like, uh, you can make it like a chore, you can make it like, you know, but it's just like, you know, jam out to music you like, and, uh, like, I, like, piano, I, I mean, it's all the same, but it's, it's, it's different. It, it also depends on what kind of music do you want to learn. You know, what, what's the genre and style you want to learn? Because, like, uh, I was always, um, I always like, like, I mean, a, a lot of different kind of stuff. But, like, like I always kind of, like, went off of, like, the funk uh, method, which is, like, the Bootsy Collins funk. There's a great video by Bootsy Collins you can look up. It's, uh, uh, it's just basically just, like, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So just like that funk formula is just like, you're, you're, it's just like a key to a kingdom. You're like, oh my God. So, uh, you know, but if you want to learn classical music, you got to do some study. You know, there's no, there's no way around it. It's just like, you got to sit down every day and you got to try and read and you got to do that kind of stuff. If you just want to play, then put on some music and play. So it's, like I said, it just depends on what do you want to do? What are your goals with it? Uh, I keep forgetting I'm playing and saying that too. Runaway by Kanye West. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, I would just um and then also realize 
that, like, I don't know that song off the top of my head. I would have to pull it up. But uh, just realize that um, some songs might take a while. Like, you might want to build it up. So um, I would really get into the idea of, like, trying to make nursery rhymes sound awesome. And that's actually a really good uh, exercise, like... Uh, you know, just like trying to find nursery rhymes by your ear. So doing a lot of ear training is really good. Uh, is is really important. So I, I would almost put ear training in like is uh, I, I mean is really number one. But everything else you're doing is just as important. All all the like analysis stuff but at the end of the day it's like the ear is kind of king um so you know you want to spend every uh I, I would really recommend spending time on ear training every day and uh I, i'm i've always been about like keep it simple so sorry i keep playing the guitar and speaking um but uh yeah i've always been about keep it simple uh everything is built off the major scale so might as well learn the major scale so just you know, so that's just uh, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do devoured just like stacks of paper so I was in like six choirs at a time uh every semester for for years and so just like boxes of of sheet music and when I got into the choirs um I didn't know how to read music I just did everything by ear uh so like I was always like worried people would find out so I was just like I had no idea what was going on but I was just, I was able to like listen to the piano and sing, sing my part. Um, but, uh, so, so anyways, it's like, there's a lot of people who get a vibe without ever learning how to read too. Um, but, uh, but once you do learn how to read how, uh, music, it literally opens up an entire world to you. And it's the same way as like, like, not it's not just learning how to read music it's once you learn how to read music and you can hear it in your head from reading it so it's like that comes from practice so you read the music you 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 play the songs you practice you practice what's on the paper and then all of a sudden you start looking at the paper and you you can hear you know what you've practiced before because you've played those notes before so you can kind of hear it uh, and also, just like I said, um, solf so there's, learn solfege. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. I, I, I live by that. My teachers swore by that. They know a lot more than I do. Um, so really stick to the basics. Don't be ashamed. Just like keep it really basic. Because uh, that's where it's at. Um, and so, uh, yeah. Yeah, but anyways... Yeah, once you learn how to, 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 to read music, you can just open up uh, books of sheet music and flip through it. And it's, it's, like, it's like flipping through an iPod or like, you know, it's, you, 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 can, you can just, you can look at it and hear stuff. And it's really cool. Like, it's, it's an experience where you're like, whoa, I feel like a lot of people won't be able to do this. And it's I, I'm the same way, like, I'm not... Uh, you know, multilingual. So I, I'm sure, you know, people talk about that. Like, I have dreams in different languages. Like, I don't have that. So, you know, a lot of people have a lot of experiences. But anyways, <laughs> learning how to read music is great. Whole, whole, half. Whole, whole, half. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, the rage was kind of a piano is just Well, um that's the C major scale is just white notes. But then it but then it's uh well, like you said, the whole whole half, like being able to uh play that on every on every note. Do major scale on every note. Yeah, exactly. It really does feel like learning a new language. Yeah, no, it really, like you said, it feels like a superpower. And um, when I was at uh, college for music, uh, there'd be like 90 year old ladies who were taking classes. And then uh, a couple, like, semesters later they're still taking it and they're getting better so it's like you can learn it at any age you know um it's just like it's it's really great and it's great for the brain it's great for everything <laughs> that's the reality of it but you can just go to a piano teacher and just be like um hey i want to set up one session or you know even like three sessions uh whatever it is and just learn those like basics of like you know this is the hand position this is the kind of like that um that would be valuable otherwise like i said just look up um because uh, it, it just is, you know, you can't really replace that. So if, if that's available to you, I would recommend that. If it's not, then um, then I would look into uh, just looking up um, videos. There, there's countless videos online. Uh, I, I would even just like, like, I'm sure if you just looked up like Berkeley School of Music, like piano course or whatever like it's just like look at the most basic stuff like hand positioning um <clears throat> for piano but like you said find someone uh well because the thing is too it's like if you look at like a lot of the people you like a lot of times like they'll have they'll like they're so good they kind of break the rules so their techniques maybe not what you want to emulate um, you know, so, uh, yeah, it, it can be a little weird like that. So, um, but basically the heart of all the, the technique is just longevity, being able to play to old age. And so to do that is because piano players, uh, it, it can be very stressful on the on the hands uh, you don't want to you don't want to do anything unnecessary so the key is always relaxation you know so you're just like dropping your dropping your uh, your fingers letting the weight of your fingers kind of you know just drop it's just yeah um so that's really like the heart of of any technique work is just uh, being able to do it just very relaxed. So everyone's body is different, but it's just like 
you know, it's like if someone's doing yoga and they've never done yoga before, yeah, you can do yoga by yourself. That's great. You'll get better. Um, but, uh, I, I don't know if yoga is the right, right, right one, but, um, I think boxing is a better example because it's like those little, it's like you can tell when someone's like never been hit in the face versus someone who's been hit in the face before, like, or like that's part of their training is getting hit in the face because there's just subtleties of like where someone keeps their hands and their defense. They're, they're like uh, commitment to defense, I should say, because when you've never really been hit in the face, you don't really think you're going to get hit in the face. <laughs> they, they just they do certain things their hands are are lower they're just they, they drop their hands when they throw it's like it's what everyone does whereas people who are actually training and getting hit in the face uh you just you have to do that otherwise you're gonna get hit in the face so there's just little things like that so i would say it's probably the same thing with piano where it's like uh it's same thing with music like i i can spot someone who's well I don't know, everyone's, and music's a little different where everyone's kind of like, it depends on which lane you're in. If you're, if you're doing classical piano, it's more like ballet, where, yeah, you're kind of expected to do a certain, like, uh, you know, you're starting to, you know, be a certain way. But if you're doing other styles, man, it's free game. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Especially once you get into, like, punk and all that kind of stuff, it's like, yeah, it's... Anything goes. So that's why music is great. It's really, it's really endless. Uh, but yeah, the going back to the Kanye West thing, um, I, I would have to, to listen to the song, but um, I, I would look up, I would just look up like super easy piano pop songs or piano like hot, like not necessarily pop but like you know Kanye songs or whatever you're into like but look up like the easiest songs like I can't stress that enough like the easiest songs to where you're like oh this is too easy pick those ones because then you'll actually be able to play it and you'll be able to play it well and confidently whereas like it gets real tricky real quick you know, so I, I and so I would just stack up a bunch of songs that you can play well, uh, and uh, you know, make it, you know, make them make them simple and uh, make it fun. So, anyways, that's my two cents on of that. That's, that's what I have to say about that, or else. You guys just missed a really loud back crack. Ooh. I guess it was a neck crack. It was like, brap.
All right. I think I'm going to log off. Oh, I might be back in a bit. Otherwise, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. I will see you soon. I will be streaming tomorrow. I'm just, uh, I'm kind of tired tonight. It's, it's late. I might be back on for uh, Path of Titans. But I kind of just want to play and not stream it, you know? That's kind of what I was thinking. I kind of just want to play it and not have to, like, hold my phone in front of it and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I might, I might do that. I might not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, uh, anyways, have a good night. Thank you. I see you soon. Goodbye.